Welcome to part four of the Information Revolution, a info war for your soul. And once again, I have to go back. I have to say this. Uh, I love Glenn Beck. I love Michael Savage. I love Rush Limbaugh. I love Sean Hannity. And I love Alex Jones. We are all on the same team. We're all fighting for freedom. We're fighting for this beautiful flag that's blown in the wind here. This is what we, our soldiers for since the beginning of this country have died for that flag. And, and like I said, they die, they cry, and they bleed, and they weep. You think they like being the, of being over there in this stupid, uh, like I call it, uh, F Troop War of fighting the Indians? Well, we just have to get all, we are, we, like I said, we're all on the same pa page. And you know what, I, I take my hat off to Alex Jones all the time because he is leading, leading the way. And if you think about it, for him to say, have his video today about Glenn Beck uh, talking about George Soros and, and and Van Jones and and not getting right to the head of the snake uh, which is the uh, federal the uh, Federal Reserve and the Fed or freedom is dead I'm telling you my friends we have to get on the same page Alex Jones and, and Michael Savage and Glenn Beck and I don't think they'll ever get Rush and Hannity in on that one but any talk show people, if you did a YouTube debate on how we can save the country, you know, we have to rally all the patriot groups together right now. I mean, like I said, I love all you. The We Are Change people, the, I've talked about the liberals to get off their butts and swallow the pill that Obama is a destroyer, not, not a uniter. And, uh, I mean, let's face it, all we have left is us patriots. We don't have a cavalry. We don't, you know, there's no one going to sell us a thousand tanks tomorrow. You know, they're not going to sell the Tea Party a thousand tanks. They're not going to sell the We Are Change Patriots tanks and planes and jets like we do all around the world to cause all these problems. Bottom line is, our greatest patriots are dying every day, and we got to stop it. We have to stop this government. We have to stop the terrorists we have to, there is a terrorist problem in the world you know and the rate that this this islamic machine that we speed it up if, if jimmy carter and uh, well of course jimmy carter was working for the, the 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 bankers then too you know if they wouldn't have speeded up this islamic machine that wants to cut all our heads off or join up and then they'll cut our fingers and hands off and and you know and humiliate the women and oh man you know we're past being a third you know we're past the seventh century you know we have to this is i mean like one guy put it when he called the savage show that uh, last week he said he said savage in 1492 when they stopped the invasion of spain uh and that was when we discovered America and here we are now we're back to 1492 again because of these world bankers and like like I said they're they're even behind follow the money they got the money and they're paying whoever it is right now the the American people we're the Native Americans we don't have a Calvary we all we have is each other and trust me uh, they want to destroy us all they, they don't want to they want to put us in FEMA camps, but they want to destroy us, like I said, with, with science right now, the way they're playing around with the Gulf of Mexico. And, and they're you know, the, they, they drilled into the, all right, I'll tell you, they drilled into the, a huge uh, mud volcano on purpose. Okay, there you go, I said it. Since no one will talk about it, Look it up. It's hard to find that information. But think about it. What was that stuff look what did that stuff look like when it came up on the beach or up in the water? It wasn't oil. It was red clay. It was from a volcano. They drilled into the side of a huge volcano. You know why? 
I learned from history. I was surprised when I uncovered, you know, I studied Native American history and early American history. I, the reason why the Indians hated the locomotives and the, and the steam steamships that went up and down the Mississippi is because right around the time when the first steamboats went up and down the Mississippi was when the New Madrid earthquake happened. Look it up. Well, that's what's going on, my friends. They're, they're trying to make a catastrophe. Basically, we fought World War II and World War I over there. The way it's looking, my dear fellow Americans, World War III is coming here. So, please don't get angry with me for what I've said. I know I've put in jeopardy uh, me giving away flags to the troops. And, and you know, I, I have flag number 12, 13, and 14 waiting to give to soldiers right now. And uh, from what I've said in this video, I, I really, like I said, I don't even want to run for Congress, but I am savage. <laughs> you think I like running for Congress? I have to. We can't criticize patriots for wanting to stand up to, to fix this damn country. You think we, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a chef, a DJ, a naturopathic doctor. I love what I do. I don't want to be a congressperson, but like I tell these soldiers, we need patriots in Washington. You think George Washington wanted to be the first president? You know he didn't. You guys, everybody out there knows he didn't really want that job. The revolution was over. He wanted to go home to Martha and just hang out and relax. All right, well, that's part four, and I think I'm gonna end it with that. Think about what I said, my friends. We're in deep shit, and we gotta fix this country. We can't fight amongst ourselves. Alex, like I said, Glenn, Mike Savage, you know, you guys know I, I love you, man. I love this country, and I want to save it. God bless you. God bless America.